welcome back to my channel yes i just said that and yes i'm considering introducing intros back again because i feel like just starting off a video without an intro is just a bit awkward but also we want to keep the talking in the beginning of the video to the absolute bare minimum which is why we're going to get straight into it i'm going to stop talking and start showing you guys a little bit of an unboxing this video is sponsored by opoly and it is a brand which i have actually been loving in secret <gasps> oh yes to the sheet packaging they have these adorable christmas bows which are actually velcro so you can just get your christmas wrapping from opoly or give someone something from opoly because having this under your tree is like the cutest thing ever so i've decided to pick up a few things for the holiday period because over the next few weeks i have well over the next two weeks i have i have quite a few christmas parties to attend and obviously new year's although i've never really been a, a big fan of fast fashion opoly is one of those brands which they're they're more of a premium brand they're not like a two pound dress kind of brand it's just yeah that's not <gasps> oh she's heavy <gasps> oh i got free lashes wow when i saw this on the website i didn't think it would be like this heavy and weight has a lot to do with quality and let me just tell you, wow. Oh. Oh. <gasps> oh. I like it. This is an embellished little mini black dress. And I got this in a UK 4, I believe. Everything I've picked up is UK 4. It is a little bit see-through. But it's okay. Note to self when ordering from Opoly again. Remind thyself that you are not so skinny as you would like to hope so and believe so. So... Don't get a UK 4, get a UK 6. She's not going up. <laughs> I would definitely put tights on with this. As much as I wish I wouldn't have to be able to, I would definitely be forced to. Otherwise, I'd be locked into a cupboard. Maybe whipped. This is cute. I'm wearing white underwear. I don't know if you guys can see it, but don't do that. <laughs> um, it is a little see-through. Shining. It looks expensive. I really like this and it feels nice. I'm doing this and nothing's falling off, which is really important. But you shouldn't have to worry when you're wearing an embellished piece that the embellishments will fall off throughout the night. And I don't think they will. There are fast fashion brands out there which are not really awful quality. Like you can get some very nice pieces. Ooh. Okay. I was actually really excited about this. This is like a cowl neck dress rouged little number it's giving me kind of like vivian westwood vibes with the neckline but also the material is very thick it's quite dense and it's oh, i feel like this is gonna look so nice on wow this is gonna suck me in i am kind of living for this look like this is me on the weekend at a nice beach restaurant I'm not gonna say club because you'll never catch me at a beach club anymore. Um, but like, I really do love this. I love how it's got these thin straps. I feel comfortable. I don't feel like sucked in, but uncomfortable because I'm so exposed and my entire figure is shown off. I feel like I'm being sucked in and I feel like my, I don't have rolls, but I feel like if I had rolls, they'd be covered um, by this rouging. It is so lovely. It actually, um, Oh, look at the bruises on my leg that's so tacky <laughs> oh okay look you can like pull it down which is nice it's like a midi dress but it's also not a midi because it's got like this slanted hemline i want to get this in like all the other colors because i feel like this is something i would actually genuinely wear i'm obsessed with that next i don't want to buy too much black because i feel like i really want to welcome this new decade in in like a positive bright white virginal kind of way you know okay so this is another piece which is the same sort of fabric but a bit of a more peachy kind of color and it's got long sleeves i'm a pretty reserved kind of person like if i'll wear like a dress it will either have to cover my shoulders or i'll have to cover my knees or i'll just have to like i don't know how to explain it but this is really cute i do love this color i feel like with a tan this could be great on 
Okay, I think I just found my next date night dress. I also kind of wish I saw this when it was Halloween because I really wanted to be a mummy and I feel like this is giving me mummy vibes. Mummy like dead mummy, not like I have a child, I do yoga at 7 a.m. kind of mummy. This like really sucked me in. This is like really sucked me in and I really love the rouged effect. It's even on my ass. So literally follows through all over and this would be a great dinner dress because like i said rouging really hides rolls so you eat you expand it's still concealed so we're good rouging hides rolls just remember that rouging hides rolls and you're good especially on new year's you want to hide those rolls at christmas that turkey dinner Get yourself a rouge dress and your rolls will be gone. Literally, it's like, oh, that's not a roll, that's a rouge. It's part of the design. You're welcome. In case you didn't know that, I'm still not over this packaging. I think it's fabulous. Ooh, they sent me some floral stuff. Oh, yay, I was really excited about this. I love, like I said, a curved hem top, like a little, but I could never find, well, like I've looked for a while and I couldn't find a really nice one. This. <gasps> Oh, she's boned as well. You know I love a good boning. I'm talking about a corset. This is, oh, this is so cute. I might wear this tonight, actually. I'm going out tonight, and this is like literally just what I needed right now. A no poly package. This is so nice. And this is, again, a UK 4. I'm hoping my titties are going to fit into this. Look at that. So the front is basically, it comes down like in a little V shape. Okay, I really need to stop thinking I'm smaller than I actually am because this crop top doesn't fit me either and I'm so sad. This is the one I was most looking forward to wearing and it literally just doesn't go up and it's just way too small. So I'm very gutted. I'm probably going to have to get this in the next size up, but this is a UK 4. I'll probably get the UK 6. I don't know why I got a 4, but it's just so cute. I really love the material. I really wish I could wear this, but unfortunately, it's just way too small. However, if you guys look on the model, it looks super cute. Look, I don't want to throw shade, but I feel like sometimes influencers ruin the way brands are perceived. And I'm not going to lie, O Poly to me in the beginning was perceived in a very bad way. Until I saw like a girl that I know wearing the dress, and I was like, wow, where is this dress from? And she's like, oh, it's from a brand called O Poly. And I was like, wait, what? So. Look, I'm not throwing shade, I'm just saying, it just depends all on how you style pieces. Ooh, this is silky, and she's puffy. Ooh. This is something Elise would wear. I'd probably have to give this to my sister, but I'm definitely gonna try this on first before I commit to saying that she can have this. You guys already know right now, I'm not like a huge floral person, I'm not a huge color person, but I feel like in winter, or maybe for the holidays, it's a good idea to inject some color into my life. And this is a really cute little dress. It's got these lovely puffy sleeves, it's got like a sweetheart neckline, and it's got some draped detailing on the front, which I absolutely love. Guys, this was gonna be a cute little moment, but sadly, I'm too fat. It doesn't zip up. I don't know why I thought I'd be a UK, actually no, I am generally a UK four slash six, but this is quite tight. It's got really nice boning. It's got a nice bodice, sweetheart neckline. I love how these are not super tight and they can be worn up or down, off the shoulder, on the shoulder. But I just, I don't fit into it. It's giving me kind of like rotate slash Alessandra Rich vibes, Alessandra Rich. Oh, this also kind of reminds me of the Balenciaga print that came out a few seasons ago. So obviously I don't think I'd be able to wear this out. Although I did think that this would be a really cute dress with like some black kind of translucent tights and maybe a pair of like Amina Mawadi boots, like short boots. I'm so sad this doesn't fit. I had like a whole outfit planned in my head for this, but that is a shame. Although saying that the quality is actually really nice. It's nice and silky. It doesn't feel like plasticky and synthetic. It actually really does not feel synthetic, which is great oh okay okay i mm, i was skeptical about this piece because i wasn't sure whether my mother would let me out the house in this but i feel like for christmas she's not home and i leave the house 
which she doesn't know won't hurt her. This is from, I think this is the collaboration with Tammy Hembro. Hembrow, Hem, Tammy. So this is a sparkly little number and it's the same material as the black dress that I got. It is so beautiful and it's very heavy, but like in a good way. So this is what the coordinating top for the embellished skirt looks like on. I paired it with a pair of white trousers. Unfortunately, I don't have like a proper camera like set up here, so I can't really show you the full outfit, but you guys get the gist of it. Simple, plain, and I love this top because I feel like for New Year's Eve, I could wear it with like some jazzy pants or like plain pants like this, or alternatively, like when it's not like a full out party kind of vibe, I could wear it with like some really nice ripped mum jeans. I really love this, it's so cute. And it gives me a nice lift. Probably should have gone for a bigger size because I feel like I might pop out of this, but it's really cute and it looks kind of expensive. So I could never see myself wearing this with the skirt. And this is the matching skirt. I do actually really love the cold. Ooh, but I don't actually feel like I'd wear these together to be completely honest with you. Because I feel like when people start wearing items the way they've shown on like the website, then they just don't look as nice because it just looks like you're wearing a uniform. I feel like this would look really lovely with like a white shirt or like a tank top, a bodysuit, and it's short, it's got a slit in the front. Wow. I'm actually very scared to wear this, <laughs> but I'm also very excited. This is gonna be super cute with like a pair of flats, like those Rene Calvilla, which ones I'm gonna get hopefully soon, laced up my leg. Okay, so this is what the coordinating skirt looks like on, on its own. I absolutely love it paired with a plain white shirt or even like a plain t-shirt. Personally, I wouldn't wear it with a coordinated crop top because I think it's just a bit too revealing for me and a bit too out there. So toning it down with like a plain white shirt is something I would definitely wear it with. And I do kind of love this slit. It's kind of sexy, it's kind of... I don't think I'd be allowed out the house with the crop top on, but I do think I can get away with it looking like this. And it's actually really nice quality, it's quite heavy. Very nice, love it. Here's a close-up. This is a really cute dinner outfit. Like I would definitely wear this to dinner and then to a club after with a cute pair of heels. Maybe not black heels, but. I want to get this in other colors. I think I would actually like wear this all the time in different colors. Next, in case you guys are wondering why I have such random pieces like a floral dress and like something of color, it's because I did ask them to throw in some like random pieces in there. I was like, just, you know, throw in something that you think I'd like. And they threw it in. Ooh. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna need to go hit the sunbed right now so this looks good on me. Actually, it still looks good on me. My sister would look so stunning in this. I've never been the kind of person to love a bodycon or a tight fitting dress, but if my sister wore this, I think she'd look so good in it because she's got massive tits and great arms and like a nice tan, but I still feel like this is giving me a really snatched look. You have like a tiny waist, that's why it's not tiny. And I'm actually like kind of living for this, like. It's definitely better than it, like it looks better on than it does like when it's on the hanger. Right? Like if I saw that on the website, I'd be a bit like, I'm not sure, but once you put it on, it actually looks really nice. I feel like a hot highlighter and I've never said those words. And it's like a really nice banksy kind of fabric. It just sucks it in it's not like slinky kind of thin fabric it's actually double lined if not triple lined it's definitely it's definitely double lined which is great double lining is going to give you more of that suction which is fabulous okay last box which i'm actually really sad about because i'm having so much fun is They sent me the little bustier that I wanted. I thought this was sold out, but this is, oh, I might just wear this tonight actually. I can't choose. Oh my God, there's so many nice things. I actually don't know what I want to choose. So this is 
in the similar sort of fabric. Again, they've done this fabric and a lot of different designs because obviously, as you know, this is not the same fabric, it's a bit different. It's party season, festive season, feeling festive, but also not over the top because I'm wearing black. I love this. Okay, so I was literally in the middle of filming and trying on the stuff when I realized that this adorable little crop top does not fit me. It's just way too small. I'm so gutted because I really wanted to wear this out tonight. So I'm gonna have to sell for something else. Ooh, it has a matching skirt. Cute, love that. Again, I'm not 100% sure whether I'd wear this set together. Oh, oh my God, oh my God. Guys, the set is lined with a pair of underwear. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you guys. I'm gonna have to put this on and see. I'm not a huge fan of wearing ultra revealing things, but I feel like summer Mykonos, this could be a whole vibe. But right now on camera for the entire world to see, I'm not 100% sure. They sent me this, it's one something I chose, but I feel like I could actually just add like a little skirt underneath. Okay, as I mentioned, this skirt, would probably be a little bit too revealing for me and unfortunately I was right. My mother just looked at me, she's like, absolutely not, it's not happening. Put your ass back in. Um, but it looks so cute on the model, I really wish I could wear this out. I'm gonna try and figure out if I can find a little black mini skirt to wear underneath this because I do really love the design of it and I think it would look so adorable on with like a nice silk shirt or something else but i really do love this i need to i need to make this work for me somehow i would definitely wear it with a nice oversized shirt but this is a uk4 and it fit like a glove it was so nice next also i saw someone on instagram wearing this and i was like wow i really want to wear that again Rouge. puffy sleeves a square neckline love this so much this is gonna be so stunning on with like a massive Chanel belt, maybe some big earrings, a pair of like cute heels, maybe flats, most likely flats because I'm lazy and I hate wearing heels. Okay, I did not realize when I tried this on that this was like the black skirt in the sense that it has like a lining as opposed to a... <laughs> the lining is like underwear, it's not exactly like a skirt. I don't really wanna turn around because I feel like I'm already exposing too much. But this is, this is something really cute. I really wish they had a skirt lining because I don't feel super comfortable going out in public with my ass. But it's not a thong, which is good. It does cover the crack. Love that. This is cute. I do really like it. I love the neckline and like the shoulders. The shoulders actually have a bit of tool in them to kind of give them um, some volume, which is nice. Obviously this is boned, which is great. It gives you that kind of sucked in corset effect, which is lovely. The back is rouged as well. <gasps> oh, they sent me a set as well. <gasps> Thank you guys so much. If you're not a fan of like little dresses or you wanna wear like separates, they do have this exact, well, similar sort of design in a little crop top. Okay, so this is what the coordinating top for the skirt looks like on. I've paired it with my favorite silk Balma trousers. I think this is quite a cute little look to wear out for like dinner, to a lounge, maybe a club. I do love the detailing. It has these cups, but obviously my boobs are like not sitting, the cups are like sitting on my boobs as opposed to like under them. But I do love how it's got this boning and like support it's really nice and the support in the sense that the fabric kind of just like hugs you and it doesn't feel cheap and i don't think it looks cheap either like it obviously looks like i'm wearing high street but it doesn't look like low tier high street this is the matching little skirt obviously i'm not coordinating it with the top i really love this skirt i think it's a really cute piece to just style with like a big oversized blazer a cute little crop top it does really look cute with a coordinating piece but personally i don't want to be that girl that gets caught on a night out wearing the same outfit as someone so we'll style it differently i love this color it's like i'm naked i love this maybe with like a big chunky belt I was actually going to put a belt on, but I always like think before I leave the house, 
take one thing off. And I never put it on, but I was gonna take it off if I put it on, so it would have to be the belt, so that had to go. In the words of Coco Chanel, even like this alone, That concludes my little Opoly haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if this is your first time being introduced to Opoly, you're welcome. If this is a brand which you've already heard about but was unsure about, I'm just going to let you guys know that I really do love the quality. I was actually very skeptical about these particular dresses, like the jersey dresses, because when I see them on Instagram, I just feel like they look like they're not gonna like hold me in. They look like they might be very flimsy kind of thin fabric, but holding them in your hand and being able to wear them and actually feel them has made a huge difference. And I'm actually pleasantly surprised and I will definitely be ordering more from this brand and hopefully be doing more videos on this brand if you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the pieces below. And of course, links to all the items that I've been wearing will be in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.